Now with all the power and flexibility available with the canvas, it just wouldn't be as much fun if you didn't have the opportunity to animate. So this is a very simple animation demo. When I click run, you'll see that it just draws a line across the canvas and notifies when the animation is complete. So to begin, I'm declaring some variables here at the top, starting off with X and Y positions of zero and zero. Then I have a variable for a frame in the animation, which I'll use with set interval in order to create a frame in the animation. Then I need to get reference to the canvas itself so that I can get the drawing context from the canvas. Now most of the work is done here within the draw function. What I'm doing is looking to see as long as my X coordinate is less than or equal to the canvas width, it can continue to animate. If it's not, then what it will do is stop the animation by calling clear interval by passing in the frame variable. The frame variable gets its value by being set equal to the interval that's created by calling set interval. And this runs every 25 milliseconds. So I'm going about this in kind of a brute force way. What I'm doing is clearing the entire canvas and creating a new line with each frame. Now in one of the coming demos, I show you how you can add on two elements that are already created on the canvas, but to keep things simple, each frame starts out with a blank slate. Then I'm setting the stroke style, line width, and then calling begin path and moving the cursor up to the zero zero position. At that point, I can create a line path to the value of X plus equals 10 and Y plus equals 10. That way I get this diagonal line going down the canvas. Once that path has been created, the call to stroke is what actually draws the line on the canvas. So this all executes every 25 milliseconds and continues to go as long as it's inside the bounds of the canvas. And of course, all of it only runs if canvas is supported within the browser.